Hello, welcome. In this video, I am going to explain more about the projects in Paperia system. You can see uh, a project which is shared by some other person. Uh, there are one more project which is uh, shared by the same person. You can switch from one project to another project by clicking uh, on the project name on the name of the project by clicking ok and uh, let us see what are the options available under the project project title here you can see this icon this icon can be used to uh, see all the options which are available under project uh, if you want to create a new document or a new project you can use this icon this options can uh, by clicking on this option for example then when you when we uh, use that option you can uh, see a window opened there you can uh, select uh, a suitable name for uh, the new project here uh, here empty dot tech is given you can suitable you can choose a, a suitable name for the new project it's a new project and uh, we have uh, many other options here uh, you can uh, go through these options and uh, accordingly you can select uh, uh, the choices and then by clicking here uh, you can create the project now I am not going to uh, create it so I, I will cancel it and again uh, see uh, we can create a new folder a new folder a for in a folder you can include uh, project new projects uh, you can uh, include some other supporting files uh, if there is any supporting file you can include those files in that fo folder uh, and uh, uh, if you are downloading new projects from some other places uh, from some uh, from internet for example then that can be included uh, that can be uh, uh, saved there in the folder uh, then uh, also you can create more than one uh, folder if you want the new folder option when I uh, when we click the new folder option you can see uh, this window and there you can uh, here you can give uh, the name of the folder uh, create where uh, this option actually helps you to uh, select uh, a main folder in which the folder the newly created folder is to be included main folder uh, can be selected using this if suppose uh, some other folder already uh, created folder is there in your uh, system then uh, those folder can be uh, selected if there are more than one folder then uh, a suitable folder can be selected uh, and then uh, in the selected folder you can uh, save the new folder that you are going to create so as a result uh, we, uh, you will you will be creating a subfolder a subfolder of a main folder and i have uh, also here i will be uh, cancelling this because i don't want to create new folder next uh, upload files See this option can be used to upload uh, uh, files from either from your system you know uh, this system uh, the Paperia system is actually resting in the cloud so it is uh, uh, everything is there uh, in some remote uh, server so uh, if, uh, if you are having some files which are used which are useful for uh, um, um, for preparing documents uh, using LaTeX uh, in you, uh, when you are working then you can uh, use this option uh, upload file option can be used to uh, upload those suitable files uh, into the uh, into um, your uh, Paperia, Paperia system ok and then choose file you can uh, select this option to choose file from uh, from a suitable folder or so folder etc okay now i will cancel that uh, again come to next option mm, 
upload a file then import a file import yeah this option can be used to import a file from uh, internet suppose uh, some useful file is already available in the internet uh, then you can use this file to this url uh, it can be used to uh, import a file from some uh, some place which is available uh, in the internet then uh, you can upload the next option is upload a project upload project option can be used to uh, upload a, a project that you have created uh, somewhere in your system and download project option can be used to download uh, download a project uh, mainly from uh, internet if you have uh, created or if you have uh, a ready made project somewhere else which is uh, uh, saved in uh, in uh, some other cloud or uh, uh, in, in a place in some uh, remote uh, system, remote computer, then you can use this option to uh, download a project uh, which is uh, which is available there. From that place, you can download it to uh, into uh, your uh, cloud uh, system, uh, in your system. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this is very important. Okay. All these are very uh, are, are very uh, useful for. Ah, new document and these uh, options are useful for beginners but uh, other uh, things are useful mainly useful for advanced users but for beginners uh, this option is very important now I am going to uh, explain those options which are very very important for beginners uh, see the option uh, new project this new project help you to create uh, a new LaTeX project uh, then uh, see this is uh, Mm, uh, th this is showing uh, a, a window to uh, give uh, a name to the project you can choose a suitable name here uh, it will be then uh, saved into the system using uh, the suitable uh, extension okay then after uh, after giving that name you can uh, uh, choose the option create option and this create option will uh, aut will uh, yeah, automatically create the uh, project but I am not uh, trying to create it, so I uh, I, I cancel that. Next uh, next option uh, then clone project. This clone project option, uh, target project and uh, new project name. See, uh, it can be used to uh, create clones of the existing projects. Uh, you, you suppose already uh, some project uh, uh, is there developed uh, which is available there then you can take the copies or clones of uh, the project and uh, that can be saved in uh, using some other uh, different name so okay this all this is also this option is also uh, mainly for uh, advanced users so uh, you may just know uh, what uh, is the uh, impo uh, yeah what's about uh, what's all about this uh, this much you need to know okay uh, then so I am uh, I will cancel that okay next uh, uh, new uh, then clone project and then uh, my projects and this is very very important my projects uh, see my project uh, means by uh, by by this option my project means those projects uh, that I create that I have created myself in the uh, Papyri system in my Papyri system, you know, you have uh, you, you are now a registered user of uh, the Papyri system, so you have the right to create your own projects uh, uh, by giving uh, your 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 uh, the names of your choice. So your pro uh, project can be created giving a suitable name, and those projects uh, will come under this uh, heading, my project. See, uh, when I click, and uh, this is a uh, uh, you can see uh, my email ID is there. And this is the email ID with which I have created this. So under this uh, email ID, if I select this, this uh, email ID will be. Uh, you can see that email ID is displayed here also. Uh, yes, you can now wait and you can see uh, what is happening. Yes, and this is uh, now showing uh, an, uh, uh, an example project actually. This is showing and main is the uh, name of the project. So automatically, uh, yeah, or by default, the system is creating uh, a project. A project you can uh, cha make changes in this project according to your uh, wishes. You can uh, change uh, yeah, according to your ideas. You can make changes in this project. Anyway, this is a starting project. You can also, uh, you know, uh, you can rename this project. Uh, you for that. You see this option. You can use this main project can be uh, or when you. Uh, uh, when, when you target that uh, when you uh, 
uh, point to that uh, project you can uh, see this uh, three dots appearing you can click there and then you can uh, see options to many options uh, there uh, there appears one of first option is compile compile means you know what this mean by compile uh, you know while, while compiling you can uh, yeah, yeah, check whether it is uh, uh, whether there is any error or whether it is uh, creating the output like like that you can uh, you can check it uh, you can obtain the uh, output then uh, move or rename this option can be used move or rename option can be used either to move this project to uh, which is now existing you know every project is existing in some directory so uh, if that project is existing in one directory if you have one more directory then you can move that project from one directory to another directory uh, that way uh, you can do that and uh, then uh, also you can use this option to rename that uh, project uh, if you want a, a new name, a, a suitable another uh, uh, name which uh, you like, then you can use that name to rename it. So that also you can try. And then uh, and this option will help you to copy this project and uh, paste it uh, in some other directory or, or in the same directory. So while you are doing this, uh, the system will ask you to uh, give a suitable name. Uh, a, a, a suitable name should be chosen by you to uh, uh, create a copy of the existing uh, project uh, then delete uh, of course this is a very very uh, required uh, one uh, delete if you want to if you don't want a project in the uh, in, you, in your system then you can uh, use this uh, option to delete it and download download can be used you know uh, uh, you know this uh, everything is happening in, uh, in, in, a, in a remote server in a cloud so in the cloud it is happening so if you want to download the created project from that uh, remote system uh, into your system where which is uh, in front of your uh, uh, in, 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 uh, in your uh, in, in front of you if, uh, if there is a system then you can down you can use this option to uh, download the um, uh, that project uh, into your system uh, and then history okay this will tell you about uh, all about that uh, uh, history of the project okay these are the options available uh, with uh, uh, yeah, with with every project you know if you have one more project here that will be listed and that also then you if you if you say, uh, when you select that project that also will show all these options and uh, these are the activities that you can do with uh, that project okay then next uh, next thing uh, I have to come to uh, the previous uh, uh, yeah, uh, menu bar uh, here. Uh, this is all about the, the uh, about new projects. Uh, new projects will come under uh, yeah under my project. And new pro when you create a new project, that will come under my project. You know, uh, every new project will come under uh, your uh, my project. And that will be listed there. Uh, then uh, we have the very important uh, option, the last option uh, that is the shared projects. The shared projects uh, uh, will, uh, you can click on the shared project, then uh, uh, you can wait to uh, see what happens. We will come to the first uh, window, the beginning window. Uh, you can see all the shared projects uh, will, <laughs> will come under this heading. Uh, there are uh, two shared projects you can see that two shared projects and this was this this was the point where uh, uh, we started uh, our discussion okay and these uh, uh, the shared projects are actually shared by uh, your collaborators uh, if there are many other uh, uh, there are many collaborators and though uh, the projects shared by those collaborators will uh, will uh, appear here uh, you can select uh, a suitable project you, you know you can work uh, with, uh, with only one project at a time so uh, the project you want to work with can be selected uh, by uh, clicking on these uh, uh, these names these are there are two uh, shared projects here okay now i think you uh, you have got uh, some basic idea about the uh, different types of uh, projects which are available with uh, um, the papyria system okay thank you for listening